Hello, I'm Sin with the OSINT Dojo, and in this video, we're going to walk through how to leverage public PGP keys for OSINT investigations. If you want to try this out for yourself, or perhaps follow along with this video, you're going to need some sort of software to work with PGP keys, assuming your operating system does not already come with one built in. For this demo, I'm going to be using Cleopatra. So, for those who might not know, PGP, or Pretty Good Privacy, is used for encrypting and decrypting messages or files using a combination of a public key for the encrypting and a private key for decrypting. In an OSINT investigation, it's actually the public key which we're going to target here, as we can use it to extract a wealth of information depending on what data the user inputted upon their key creation. So, as you can see on the left of the screen here, I have Cleopatra software up and running, and then on the right, I just have a simple text document with a sample public PGP key that I created specifically for this demo. The easiest way to get a PGP key that you find into Cleopatra is to simply copy and paste it into the text editor of your choice, and then just go and save that as a .asc file. Once you've done that, you can move over to Cleopatra, click on the import button, locate the file that you just created, double click it, and it's going to extract all the information from that public PGP key and display it to you in, in Cleopatra. As you can see here, we have the name that the user provided, the email that they provided, as well as a valid from date, which typically corresponds to when the key itself was actually created. Some things to keep in mind is there's no guarantee that there's going to be any usable information extracted from all public PGP keys, and none of the data entered upon key creation is actually validated. So a user might enter gibberish, fake information such as an email they don't have access to, or something along those lines. That being said, extracting this information is still something an investigator is going to want to do just to make sure they've covered all their bases and not left any stones unturned.